Alright guys, today we're going to work on molecular formulas. Now, as you remember from doing the, the uh, podcast, uh, molecular formulas are really, really easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the molecular formulas with some of the stuff we did for empirical so that you make sure that you get some practice on working through the whole things. Obviously, you're going to need a periodic table to do this. Um, so let's go ahead and get going. Alright, so we have something that contains 12 grams of nitrogen. So I'm going to start with nitrogen. And I have... 12.2 grams, and for oxygen, I have 27.8 grams. So now what I have to do is figure out what my ratios are here. So the way to do that is figure out what my ratios are of moles to moles. Because if I look at something like H2O, that means 2 moles of hydrogen to 1 mole of oxygen. So nitrogen is 14.007 grams and 1 mole. And oxygen is 15.999 grams in one mole. When I multiply them out, I get 0.871, and I get 1.74. Right, and clearly what you have here is a one to two relationship. Divide both by 0.871, you get this one being one, and this one being two. So your empirical formula is NO2. All right, well, how much does NO2 weigh? That's your empirical formula. Let's label that. Okay. Nitrogen's 14. Each of the oxygens is 16, so that's 32. So that entire thing is 46 grams. But notice what I want is I want 92 grams per mole. Well, 92 divided by 46 is equal to 2, so it's twice as big. So instead of being NO2, it's going to be N2O4. And that's my molecular formula. All right, let's do a few more. Determine the molecular formula for a compound that contains 94.1% oxygen, 94.1%, which we're going to treat like grams, and oxygen is 15.999 grams per mole. How about hydrogen? Hydrogen is 5.9 grams, which we are again looking at 1.0079 for hydrogen. And that's it. We only have oxygen and hydrogen. So uh, my moles here for oxygen is 5.88. And my moles here for hydrogen is 5.85. Clearly, I have a one-to-one -one relationship. So I have H and O. That's my empirical formula. And you say, wait a minute, I just wrote it OH. It doesn't matter. Right at OH, HO makes no difference at this point, not for what we're doing yet. Okay, now how much does this weigh? Well, oxygen weighs 16 and hydrogen weighs 1, that's 17. But I want it to hit me 34, so I have to multiply everything by 2 to get 34. So that means what I really need is I really need H2O2, and that is my molecular formula, because this thing here weighs 34 grams. All right. Let's try number three, a little bit longer. We have sodium. We have phosphorus. We have oxygen. Well, sodium is 22.5 grams, and phosphorus is 30.4 grams, and oxygen is 47.1 grams. And we're going to divide by the molar mass, which is 22.990 for sodium which is 30 point, gotta look that one up, 974 for phosphorus, and it's 15.999 for oxygen. And these are all to one mole. Because I want the moles of them. Right? So if I do that, this gives me 0.979. And this one gives me 0.981. Well, those are essentially the same. And this one gives me 2.94, which sure looks like three times the 979. So if I divide by 0.979, divide by 0.979, these both give me 1. 0.979, and in fact it does give me 3. So I have a 1 to 1 to 3 relationship, which is NaBO3. Right. Well, sodium weighs 23, and phosphorus weighs. 31. And oxygen, three of them weigh 48. So 
So I add those all together. 48, 78, 79. 80, 81, 82. How about 102? Right. So this whole thing here, that's my empirical formula. And it weighs 102 grams per mole. That at 102, I'm on 306. So clearly I have to multiply by 3 to get 306. So this becomes N3, Na3, P3, O9. Right. And that entire thing will add up to 306 grams per mole. Right. Let's try this one. 76% iodine. 76%, we're going to treat like grams, 76 grams of iodine. And 24%, or 24 grams of oxygen. And oxygen, we know, is 15.999 grams in one mole. Right, but that means we have to look up iodine. Iodine is going to be 126.90 grams in one mole of iodine. When I actually do that math and multiply them out, I get 0.599, which is almost 6. And I get 1.50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try dividing both of these by 0.599, because I don't see the ratio real quickly. Clearly this one's 1, and this one is 2.5. Right, so if that one's 2.5, what do I have to multiply by? Well, I have to multiply both by 2. If I multiply both by 2, then I get um, 2 up here, and I get 5 down there. So my empirical formula is I2O5. Well, does that make sense? Is that my molecular formula? Well, who knows? Let's figure this out. Iodine is 127. So I have 127 times 2, which is 254. My oxygen is 16 times 5, which is 80. If I add those together, I get 334 grams. And that's exactly what I want. So my empirical formula and my molecular formula are, in fact, the same. I don't have to make any changes. don't have to double it by anything, triple it by anything, anything like that. It is the same. All right, number five. We're determining the molecular formula of a compound that contains 48.6% or 48.6 grams of carbon. And hydrogen, we have 8.1 grams of hydrogen. And for oxygen, we have 43.2 grams. And what we're going to do is we are going to convert the grams to moles. Carbon is, weighs 12.011, hydrogen weighs 1.0079, oxygen weighs 15.999. They're all going to one mole. So what do we get for numbers? Well, the first one, we get 4.05. The second one, we get 8.04. Well, there's a one to two relationship. And the first one is 2.70. Oops, well, that one's tough to do. Let's do 2.70. Let's divide them all by 2.70 because that's the smallest. Right, clearly, this one gives us 1. Right, this one gives us 3. And this one gives us 1.5. Well, if we have 1.5, we have to double everything. So we're going to multiply everything by 2. And that will make this one 3, and this one 6, and this one 2. So, that is our empirical formula. Okay. So my empirical formula is C3H6O2. Well, how much does this thing weigh? Because we're told the molar mass is 296, so how much does this weigh? Well, this is 12 times 3, so that's 36. Each of the hydrogens is 1, so that's 6. The oxygens reach 16, so that's 32. So that's 6, 6, 12, that's 14. Carry a 1, that's 74. Well, that's certainly not 296. So if I take 296 and divide by 74, I get 4. 
So I have to take each number that you're looking at here and multiply by 4. So this is my empirical formula. This is my lowest whole number ratio. So if I take all of those numbers and multiply by 4, I get C12, I get H24, and I get oxygen H. All right, that's good. So this thing down here at the bottom, this is my molecular formula. Okay, on to number six. Three more to go. Determine the molecular formula of the compound it contains. Let's see, we have nitrogen, we have carbon, we have hydrogen, and we have chlorine. Right? We have 0.993 grams of nitrogen and 1.27 grams of carbon and 0.213 grams of hydrogen, and 2.52 grams of chlorine. So we're going to go and divide by the molar masses. So that's what we have to look up on the periodic table. Hopefully you're getting good enough that you don't have to look them all up anymore. Carbon's 12.011. Hydrogen's 1.0079. Carbon is 12.011. And what I have to do is, these are all two on one mole. So I have to divide them all out. And when I do that, I get... Point zero, zero seven nine. Hold on a second, guys. Let me check something. Okay, that's cool. Point zero seven zero nine. And this one is 0 0.106. And this one's 0 0.211. And this one's 0 0.0711. So I divide by the smallest. That's going to give me one. Same thing down here. It's going to give me one. I divide by 0 0.0709 uh, for that one. And I get. 1.5. And if I divide this by 0 0.0709, I get 3. Alright, so here's my only fraction. So to get rid of a 0.5, I have to multiply by 2. So everything gets multiplied by 2. This becomes 2, 3, 6, 2. So that tells me my empirical formula is N2, C3, H6, What did I do wrong? Oh, this is chlorine. Sorry. I'm multiplying by 35.453. I knew something was wrong. Chlorine was 2. Okay. So that's my empirical formula. And my empirical formula, I have to figure out the mass for my empirical formula. And the mass from the empirical formula is 28 plus 12 times, 12 times 3, which is 36 plus 6, plus 71 for the two chlorines, which is going to give me uh, 141. But that's not what I want. I want 423. And 423 divided by 141 is equal to 3 times. So I have to take everything and multiply by 3. You know, sorry, hold on guys. Just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, good. So now if I multiply each of these by 3, I get N6. I get C9. I get H18. The 6 times 3 is 18. And I get CL, and that's 6. And that entire thing, if you sit down and add it up, just to be sure, which doesn't hurt, you get 423 grams. Okay. Let's go on to number 7. <clears throat> what I was getting confused with is 6 and 7 are very similar. All right. Nitrogen is 1.03. Get rid of nitrogen, I have to go 14.007. Right. How about hydrogen? Hydrogen, 0.220, and I have to do 1.0079 to 
to get rid of the hydrogen. And for the carbon, I have 1.76 grams, and I have to divide by its molar mass, and that's 12.011 grams. So for all grams, and in every case we're going to, our friend, the mole. Alright, so when I go and multiply, divide these things out, I get 0 0.0735, I get 0 0.218, and I get 0.147. So that's my smallest one, so I divide by 0 0.0735, and that gives me 1. I divide by 0 0.0735, and that gives me 3. And I divide by 0 0.0735. And that gives me 2. Well, they're all whole numbers, so I don't have to multiply by anything. So I have N, H3, C2. And that is my empirical formula. How much does my empirical formula weigh? 14 plus 3 plus 24. C2. If I add those up, I get 41. Well, that's not... 123, but if I take 123, let's do it down here, and divide by 41, that gives me 3. So that tells me I have to take my empirical formula and multiply it by 3. So it's going to be N3, H9, C6. And that's my molecular formula. That tells you exactly what's in the molecule, and uh, you should be able to add that up and get up to 123 grams. Okay, last one. We have three things. We have carbon, we have hydrogen, and we have nitrogen. And the carbon is 79.0.1 grams. And I'm going to get rid of carbon by going 1, 12.011 grams and one mole. And hydrogen, I'm starting with 5.55 grams. I'm going to get rid of that by doing 1.0079 grams in one mole. And nitrogen, I have 15.4%, which we're going to treat like grams. And we're getting rid of nitrogen by 14.0011. That's not right, 14.007. I'm doing that from memory. 14.007 on the bottom, one mole. All right. And if I multiply all of these out, I get 6.59, and I get 5.51, and I get 1.10. And so I divide all of them by 1.1. Right, and the top one gives me 6, middle one gives me 5, bottom one gives me 1. So I have C6H5, that was good to get. C6H5N. So this is my empirical formula. So am I done? Well, maybe. We don't know yet. So if I take 12 carbons, that's 72. If I take 5 hydrogens, that's 5. If I take 1 nitrogen, that's 14. If I add them up, I get 91. But I don't want 91. I want 182. And 182 is clearly twice 91. So my molecular formula would be twice the one that is my empirical. It would be C12, it would be H10, and it would be M. All right. That's it, folks. If you have questions, struggled on any of them, please let us know. We'll be happy to help. And uh, so we'll see you in class. Have a good day. Bye-bye.